Welcome back to Marathon Gaming. As you can see from the thumbnail, the postman has certainly been and done his rounds. We've got four packages to open up here, and I'm as excited as you guys are. I'm pretty sure I know what two of them are. I'm certain I know what two of them are, but the other two, I've got no idea what they are. So that's why I enjoy these videos so much, these um, unboxing videos for these pickups, because my brain is terrible, my memory is terrible. Um, these have come over the last week or two, um, and I've sort of chucked them in the corner until I had a few um, to do a video about. So two of them, I'm pretty sure I know what they are. The other two, I'm not. One I'm quite excited about, very excited about one in particular. Um, there's definitely not going to be one platform. There's going to be multiple consults here. Um, and in one, I'm probably going to slag it off. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll get to that in a minute. So let's crack on, shall we? You're probably thinking, why is he drinking 0% Heineken? Well, I might have put this video out on a Sunday night, but it's 1 o'clock or lunchtime on a Saturday. I'm going to have a beer later on. I've deserved it. Done a little run this morning. But it's a time and a place. I do like a beer. But you've got to stick away from it as much as you can sometimes. It's Saturday lunchtime. Yeah? It's not big. It's not clever. But drinking is fun. If you're having a drink now, good luck, Char. I'll have one with you later on. But this will do for now for the purpose of this video. Let's get straight in with, I don't know what this is, so I said I'm pretty sure I know what two of them are. One I'm very excited about, one I'm disappointed in myself, um, how I currently feel about it in the present time, but I'll talk about it in a moment when I get to it. It could be this one, who knows? Oh, it's a Mega Drive, so I've definitely got three different consoles to show you guys then. It's a Mega Drive game, I've no idea. Even when I can see the corner of the box, I've got no idea what that is. It's nothing, you know you think, oh it comes to you, oh it's this or it's that. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Oh hello. Hello, now it's come to me. Now it's come to me. She's coming. Oh it don't even look real. It looks like it's faded. Have I been mugged right off here? Right, stay to this. Look how tatty that is. But, what a game. Um, I've got notifications on eBay and I'm not shit hot on it enough at all. Look at them game instructions, it's just printed out. Um, can't see that because of the glare. Um, look at the box, it's so tatty. It's got the tab, but that's the thing with these eBay pictures, you can never tell. I think I could tell it was in bad condition, that's why I got it quite cheap. Um, this is a bit of a pricey game, even the label and the cart's a bit ripped, but I've got this more for the gameplay. Um, I love Outrun, I play it all the time in the arcade. Uh, not necessarily this exact version. Or is it this version? I don't know, let me know. There's lots of different, is this, I don't know, how many different arcade versions there are. Um, there's lots of different outrun modes, uh, games, shall I say. Um, but yeah, anyway, stop waffling, Scott. So as soon as I picked this up, I saw from an email notification, just a little look like in the morning or whatever, scrolling through on the toilet, and I probably shouldn't have shared that with you guys. Um, it came in like a, literally, what I paid for this, I could have got in a bundle of a couple of other like quite rare pricey games. Um, like went really cheap. I'm sure it's like a bundle for like went for like thirty quid, and there was like a couple of games that are quite expensive. Um, I'm going to put the price up for this. It might not be on CX, but I'll put it in the corner um, of how they sort of go for on eBay. Um, but yeah, it's, I didn't pay a lot for it, guys. Um, it was just because I'm pretty sure I got it. Well, you can see why it's cheaper. It's bloody battered, but I just want to play it. It's one of them ones. Um, just great to have in the collection. So I'm just happy to find any copy of it for a reasonable price. It's not something I come across in the wild at all. Don't really see it in retro shops I go to, so or any CEXs, you know, Mega Drive, unless you go online and it's like roulette in it. When you go into a shop, you just see what they've got in the window and things like this. If there's a good condition of it, it bloody be gone, wouldn't it? Let's be honest. A um, little sip of this. Right, this one, I know what that is. I like I like the excitement and stuff really. This don't feel like a game. This happened before. Do you remember I opened something up? It weren't even a game. It's got a return postcode on the back. Anyone who's interested in that? Um, Switch. Okay. Okay. Most people prepared. They bring like a knife, blade, scissors. I'm more caveman style. I like to go back to my roots. Doesn't make interesting watch though, does it? Look, I'll get in quicker for you guys, yeah? Talk amongst yourselves. How's the weather where you are? Oh yeah, lovely. Right. 
cheeky little teasy corner. It's a limited run game, which means I'll pick this up on the line, probably eBay. This could be the one I'm disappointed about, and I'm going to tell you exactly why. It is the one I'm disappointed about. Can you see a little cheek, a cheeky nipple slip in there? Look. What have we got? Definitely should bring a knife. I don't want to go like crazy on it, and then you know, you collectors all go mad at me for damaging the game, even though it's my game. That's ridiculous, isn't it? But that is what the internet is like these days. Um, Night Trap. I don't know why I stared that so long. I knew exactly what it was after I saw this lady on the front. Um, the reason why I'm disappointed in this, I keep. <laughs> why, am I, why am I saying I'm disappointed? I just brought it. The reason why is basically I'm buying. I'm trying to scroll through my like software on the Switch and any game I've had and then sold. Because um, like I said before, I used to get a game that's brand new. I used to treat it like a bloody blockbuster. I'd complete it. Say I buy a game full squid. I'd complete it and I'd go and sell it for 30. Because in my head, I was like, I've only lost a tenner. And everyone's happy. They're getting a game that's pretty new. Because they look. it doesn't matter, does it? Once the plastic's off, it's, it's still it's new. It's new, isn't it? No matter how many times it's played it. it doesn't, we don't really get second hand. The, the cases don't get damaged. There's no booklets to tear or rip and the cartridge is a cartridge it doesn't get scratched now i'm sure you guys are familiar with night trap um so like i said i got it on the switch really wanted to play it and i was like eh, it's quite hard um had a bit of fun with it uh, me and the missus playing it um and like i said it was oh it's got a bit of a something in the box um not the cheapest of game obviously it won't be limited run games there's only so many copies but if i ever i'm not going to brush and play it I'm just, like I said, it's because I've come across it and it's one, it must come up on eBay um, for a Switch on the notifications. Um, fairly reasonable price. Like, for example, I could sell this right now, the same money I've bought it from. So, same money I've paid for it. So, I've not lost money. So, I'll put it in the collection. If I ever wanted to raise some cash in the future, it would go for the same money, if not, probably more. So, it's a no-brainer, really. Um, but, yeah, I've but he's a bit disappointed. I've played quite a few of these, not limited run games necessarily, but some of the super rare games, some of them are brilliant. There's one particular, or two, we've been really enjoying, me and my friend. Um, but there are some I put in, and I'm like, oh, within five minutes, I know I'm probably not going to play this again. But once all the copies are sold, you're probably going to get your money back, if not more anyway. So there's nothing to complain about. It's good value, so you can't complain. It might be pricey, but it holds its value, doesn't it? So never mind. Well, I'm going to go for this one, because then we've definitely got three different consoles. 100%. So I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I was quite excited about this. And I'll do a video of playing this game in probably... What month are we in? January. One more week of January left. I think... A little clue, give it away. I think this day will occur, I believe, in February. If not early March. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's a cartridge. Yeah, it is the NES. Hopefully it's not a fake cartridge like that. Um, it is one I made earlier. Well, someone bloody made it earlier. I can't remember what it's called. Days Before Christmas. Um, there's me giving it the big one about not bringing the right tools to the job. And now I'm all of a sudden struggling. It's that run this morning. It's just used all the protein in my body. Need some nuts. All right, squeezing her out. Squeezing her out this jiffy bag. Doo -doo -doo. There it is, look. Friday the 13th. I'm a huge, I don't know if you can see, you can see, can't you? I'm a big Friday the 13th fan, um, and I haven't ever played Friday the 13th on the NES. Um, and I know it's. you can see from the logo. Old angry video video game nerd always lays in on them. Um, not a great game. I've seen a bit of footage from it. Never played it. I just want to experience it for myself. Uh, again, quite a rare game. Found it on eBay. Quite reasonably priced. Just cart only. Um, probably be too expensive to find boxed. Um, I don't even think this had a UK release. No, you can tell from the back, can't you? And that's like US release, like my Punch-Out, Mike Tyson game. Um, but yeah, Friday the 13th is probably the second game I've played the most on the Switch. Absolutely love it, but it's flawed. They couldn't carry it on like Dead by Daylight. I played hundreds of hours on that. But me and my mates loved playing Friday the 13th on the Switch. I know this will be nothing... Look my voice went then. I know this will be nothing like that whatsoever, but 
I just want to give it a go. And like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a Friday the 13th coming up in within the next six weeks' time. Pretty sure there is. Check your calendars. Check it out and let me know in the comments. We don't have to let me know. We'll find out. We'll find out together. Right, this last one. I don't know what this is then, do I actually? Because the one that was the one I was excited about. That was the one I was disappointed about, and I completely forgot about that one. Which means I've got no idea what this is. So it could be another console. Could be. Oh, do you know what? Sitting here struggling, there's a bloody knife next to me. 20 inches away. Oh, hello. Super rare games. So this is my own fault if this is no good because this came up on the email saying it's been released and I just watched it. I get so, I'm so easily persuaded. And basically how it looks like it plays, you can check it out guys on um, eBay. Sorry, on eBay, what am I talking about? Go on Super Rare Games um, website, I've got eBay on the brain. So Blood Roots is called. It looks like it's one of those one death things, but it's not terrible like Bubsy the Bobcat, don't worry. Um, I think you just keep running as far as you can get, like high score wise, killing en enemies. But it looks like you can't miss one, you have to kill everyone. It's like a speed run game, that's what it looks like, like a top down view sort of platformer. Sort of top down the angly camera of 40 degrees, or whatever, and you're sort of running through, traversing through the level, killing people like combos. Um, that's what it looked like to me. If I'm wrong, correct me. Um, but I'll check that out. Any of these super rare games that are good, I'll um, obviously do a video on it. The fact that I haven't done a video on it just goes to show you the last ones I've had have been amazing, other than the two which I have been enjoying, which is that Unraveled, which I told you guys about. And the other one is um, one I showed in my pickups video recently, which was, uh, I can't remember it's called, Tricky Towers, which is a bit like Tetris. Oh, it's so fun. I'm going to repeat myself. If, in case you guys haven't seen it, go back and check it out. I'll remind you anyway. And it's like you've got to get to a certain point. So unlike Tetris, it is like Tetris, same block, exactly the same system, but you're trying to, you, you want it to go higher. But you can't just go up ill-structured because it will flop over. So you're trying to rush it, but maintain a bit of structure. If you get to the top and it wobbles, you start again. Very clever game. You think, why have they not thought of that? Why has Tetris not thought of that? Um, I've opened it, so I might as well close out the video by showing you guys. For those who haven't seen any of my other videos, what you get with these super rare games. You get a little sticker, um, and you get a little cards in there. Um, and then, yeah, the game's all sealed, and you also get these sealed pouches, which are bloody ruined. I guess people... Some people buy them, don't they, and just keep them exactly sealed to sell later on. But I'm not that guy. I like to play all the games. Um, so that's what we got. We've got some Switch, guys. Um, super rare games. We've got an NES game, Friday the 13th. We've got Nintendo Switch again, Night Trap, which is a limited run game. And we've got Mega Drive, Turbo Outrun. Now, I've definitely picked up um, last year, I think, some Mega Drive games which I haven't shown you guys, and there's some good ones. Again, they're sort of eBay finds where they're expensive games. Uh, people have avoided them because they want nice condition ones and I wasn't too bothered, so I went for it. Um, so I'll maybe show you those in the next video. But yeah, hope you guys are all well. I'll speak to you very soon. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe and talk to me in the comments. I'll see you guys later. Have a great week. Cheers. I'm Mario. And I am the Hedgehog. And today, with this... <laughs>